Okay, so I'm really excited to hear about how you connected to these this author's words. And so today, when you choose which one of these you'd like to do, let's say this morning, I want to pick a story on sewing camp. There's some things I want you to remember. Remember, with narrative writings, one of the really cool things to do is to be in the moment. Remember, we've talked about that before. Pretend when you're writing the story that it's happening right now. Again, pretend it's happening right now. Like when Miss Horn yesterday said, it's Saturday morning, like it's happening right then. Another one is to use your senses. So remember, when you're pretending it's right now, what are you seeing? What are you smelling? What are you hearing? Okay. But here's a new one. This one's called inner dialogue. Now that's a fancy set of words for something that's not that fancy. Do you ever have that moment where you're thinking something to yourself, but you don't say it out loud? Like right now I'm thinking, I really love a cookie. <laughs> that's inner dialogue. Anytime you talk to yourself, you are having it inside of yourself. Dialogue's just a word for talking. So you're talking inside of yourself. You can actually put that right in your writing as well. So in my writing, I might be saying, hmm, it's another Saturday morning. I'd really love some scrambled eggs. But I'd be thinking that in my head. So inner dialogue is something really nice to use with narrative because it helps you expand your writing and give it more detail. So today, as you're telling me about whatever your story is, be thinking about pretending like it's right now, using your senses, and putting in your thoughts that you would say in your head. 